Hey whiskey fans, welcome to another review. Um, this is my second review of different types of whiskeys. Um, last time I uh, reviewed um, Colonel E.H. Taylor, um, Woodford Reserve, and Elmer T. Lee, Buffalo Trace, and Straight Rye. Um, I will this is basically the breakdown of what I currently have and what is the best for me or which is what is the best now that I've tried. Um, straight rye is still the best, which is why I gave it a 9.9. .9. Um, last review, I said Buffalo Trace. Also, you know, a great, a great whiskey. We'll always have it on my counter. Um, I gave it a 9.5 because the value is there, it's just all around the complexity, it's the best, the taste, the best tasting um, for the price. But this, the Nigger Straight Rye, is the best I've ever tried. Um, it, it's just so great. It's, it's oily, it's spicy, uh, the taste goes for days, uh, it's just all around the best I have tried. Um, I'm always going to look for the best, but currently, Maker's Straight Rye is the best for me and you know I also rate at you know I rate whiskeys on price too I also rate whiskeys on you know the taste you know everything else uh, so okay so that's the best um, so I have also picked up Stag Jr. I think it's hype um, I, I think it's hype it's no nowhere near as good as straight rye um, you know it, it's very complex. I give you know the taste is amazing. Black cherries, the, the dark chocolates, but at, you know the, after the after drinking it the first time, you you taste it. And it's great. It's awesome, but then it just it goes flat. It's not you know there's nothing there. And the taste it goes away really quick. Um, and it's just really average after that. You know. Um, other than that, you know, it's a great, you know, I rated it 9.7 because it is good. Really dark. Um, it is good, but the price is just overinflated. People overinflated the price. It's now $55. If it was like $35, $40, it would be fantastic. Um, Maker's Bourbon was very disappointing to me. Uh, the price was, it was just very average forgettable whiskey um, I really didn't like it um, so I'd rather much rather pick up uh, Buffalo Trace over Makers any day any day um, this is on my last review this is more of a, like a caramelly um, tasting whiskey it's, it's basically like Buffalo Trace but it's just a little bit spicier that's it that's the only difference really it's a little, little bit oily, more, a little bit more com complex, um, but yeah, it's just, it's basically the same. Um, Colonel E. H. Taylor is basically the same as well. It's basically the same as Buffalo Trace, but you know the, the afterburn. There's no, really no afterburn. It's really smooth. Um, so okay, so that's my, that's my review. Nine point five for Buffalo Trace, twenty eight ninety nine. Very good value. Elmer T. Lee, small, uh, I'm sorry, uh, what was it? Sour Mash, 9.6, $36.99. This is very hard to find. That's that's why I rated it, you know, not really as good. Um, so it's very hard to find. This is very easy to find. Go ahead and find it. You can find that anywhere. Um, Mickers Bourbon, uh, 9.4, $40.99. Not, not a great value. Very average whiskey. This is very good. The, the best value, the best taste, the best price. 9.9, $44.99, worth every single penny. Um, I would, I would, you know, I would pick this up. I mean, maybe, you know, if you found it for like 50 bucks or, you know, around 40, I'd pick it up. That's very good, very com complex, tasty, black cherry, chocolate. Um, I'd pick it up. So that's my review. Um, if you want to see more, if you want to see something else, if you want to see me pick up something else, let me know. Um, give this a thumbs up if uh, if you choose. 
So yeah, um, come back uh, next week. Thanks. Bye.